Hello everyone, a very big welcome to Crafts by the Bow for our global monthly video group. This month our theme was green and we could choose anything we wanted as long as it was green. So I know some people will probably choose St Patrick's Day and some people might choose spring but I've chosen just to use green paper and green card. Now, if you look at the links at the end of this video, you'll see um, different videos from different Stampin' Up! demonstrators across the world. And we all get together every month and we choose just the first Wednesday of the month to make one video each. And then if you go to the other links, you will get lots and lots of different ideas. So please pop over to the others and see what they've made. Maybe give them a thumbs up and a, a like. And uh, that sort of keeps us all going. It gives us that little bit of um, pleasure in what we make that we know other people are watching too. So today's video, I'm using these two stamp sets. This butterfly gala, one I'm using with the matching punch, which is this one. And I'm also using this Seriously The Best stamp set. And you can buy a kit called Seriously The Best that goes with this, but the stamp set you can actually buy on its own. And I'm loving these big sentiments. So they're the two things I'm using. And my green part, oh, just let me pick it up. I dropped my paper then, sorry. My green part is I'm going to use this paper from the Garden Lane series. Now when I bought this, people probably know I'm not much of a green person. But I bought this paper because I just loved some of the um, designs on it. And I was sure I would use it. And then when I got the theme for this month and I'm thinking, I don't have anything green. And I remembered that I'd bought this beautiful paper. And the only reason it sat in the cupboard was that the Christmas and holiday magaz uh, magazine catalogue came out. And so I was busy with that and I forgot all about this. But because I've opened it just for today's video, I've fallen back in love with it. And I'm going to make sure that I use this paper a lot. And this is the piece I'm using where it's the soft sea foam and on the back uh, I think that's like mossy meadow and mint macaron and probably purpose as I think so um, but this is the side I'm going to use and I'm going to make a double easel card and I've seen quite a few cards um, on Pinterest and other demonstrators where they do the double easel technique but the one I watched the um, the card for last was a lady, let me just find her name again, it was um, a lady who has taffy crafting and her name was Donna and she actually used some of the verdant paper as well and I didn't know that until after I'd got the green paper out and then thought right let me find something for a fun fold card. So I chose that paper and then I have just a little bit. I'm using the old olive cardstock. I wanted to use pear pizzazz, but I didn't actually have enough of it. So I'm using old olive. And I'm also going to be using pear pizzazz inks. And I haven't made it already. I've prepped all my pieces, but I haven't actually made it. But what I've started off with is just half a piece of whisper white cardstock and scored down the middle. If you need to know sizings and things, hop on over to my blog, because on my blog, the measurements are always on there. Okay, so I've just scored it down the middle, and I've only used the thin Whisper White. And normally, if it's for a card base, I will use the thick Whisper White, but this is going to have an extra card layer, both on the front and on the inside, which will make it strong enough for a card base. So that's that one. And then I've got a piece of Mossy Meadow, and this is cut just slightly narrower and slightly smaller. So you see, that's going to give me a nice little border. And I've scored it in half and then I've scored in half again so that it makes this easel shape. So 
just goes like this. And as I said, all the measurements are on my blog, so pop over there and have a look. Okay, now, I've also cut my DSP, and I'm going to show you how to attach everything first before I attach the front to the back. So this is my little piece of DSP, and I really like these flowers on here. Uh, I think that's really pretty. It almost matches one of the sets from the um, Mini Occasions catalogue, which has got those beautiful blooms on. It's not quite the same, but I think I'm going to be using it together. Okay, now this just goes on this back piece, and it's got that little narrow border all the way around. If you wanted, you could do this in a layer of card and then a slightly smaller piece of DSP just to give you that triple layer look on here. But because I'm putting it onto white cardstock as well, it already looks like it has another layer. Okay, and then I've got a smaller piece just for the front. What would be nice as well, if you used one piece at the back and a different piece on this little front, but for just for today, I'm making it all the same paper. And you know, I really don't gravitate towards greens. I sometimes use them, but usually uh, I've got lots of different colours in my paper or in my backing sheets or even in my stamping. So to do just green was, as I said, a little bit out of my comfort zone. But I really like how the card has come together. Okay, now I'm going to make a piece for inside here as well. Um, I've got another piece of the Mossy Meadow and another piece of Whisper White and that's going to go inside this card but I want to stamp on it first. And so, in fact, I won't stamp on it. I think I might do a punch. So let's have this attached. I think a punch would look nice there. You can see I'm still sort of designing in my head as we're going along. And I don't always like to be sort of too set in my ways about what I, what I have to make and what goes where. I like to see what things are looking like as I'm going along and just think, no, I, I don't want that to go like that. I'm just going to change it a little bit. Okay. Now, when I cut the DSP, the paper was actually um, the full length of the 12 by 12. So what I did was I just cut a tiny little piece off. It was from here. I just cut that little tiny piece off and I'm going to attach it on the inside. And often if you have uh, little scraps of DSP, you can just put them inside or on your envelope. It just adds that extra little touch. So now you wouldn't even need to stamp or put anything else on. You'd need may maybe to make that sure that was level. There we go. <laughs> okay. Okay, now I'm going to attach this piece now to the front. So I'm only going to put glue on the back here and we're going to attach it so that it's got that little border all the way around. And you see how because we've got that card on the inside and this layer of card on the outside, that's why we didn't need to use the very thick DS, um, Whisper White card. It doesn't always need to be the thicker card. And I actually, I prefer the thinner card for stamping on. I think it's a much nicer surface. It's nice and smooth. Okay, okay. so that's there. And just move that along a tiny bit. There we go. And now that's our basic card. So you can see when it's on its side, this is why it's the double easel fold. So it's like a, a tall mountain and a short mountain. But when it stands like this, how can I show you it? Um, when it stands, hmm, that's difficult for you to see, I'm sorry. But when it stands, this front piece protrudes forward. So. You, you sort of see this piece first and then the back in. Okay, now I have um, got my card ready to do my butterflies, but I haven't pre-prepared them. So I'm going to do that with you. 
Oh, let me find this smaller piece, the white card. So I've got my butterflies on the stamp blocks, but that's all. Oh, now I've lost my butterfly. I thought I had all of them on the stamp block, but no, I didn't. I need this one. So I'm going to choose this one here because I like how that one takes the colour. Excuse me while I get a stamp block. Okay. And I'm just going to stamp that in Memento. Just in the back, in the black. Okay, and I need it. I'm going to put it uh, on this little piece of scrap here. I need two. So there's one. This is a nice and juicy ink pad, so it should stamp out quite nicely. Two. And I want to have an extra little butterfly. So I'm only going to stamp the top half, or ink the top half of the stamp. And then I'm just going to put that down there. There. Let's put that away. We don't need that one anymore. And next I'm going to get my purpose as. And this is what I'm going to use to colour the butterflies in. And the set comes with all of these shapes here, which you can use just as plain colour. And that's what I'm going to use. So, But I am going to stamp off. So here's the top of the wings. I'm going to stamp. And I don't want it as dark as that. So I'm going to stamp off once. And then I'm just going to line up the wings doesn't matter if it goes over a little bit like that that's fine it's a bit tricky to see when I'm not right over the top of the stamp but that's fine okay so that's all that we need that one for and then I've got the bottom of the wings here you could use a different color here um, but I'm trying to stick to my green so again I'm just stamping off If you didn't want to use this ink, you could colour these in with your blends or um, with an aqua painter and use the ink. Just dip your aqua painter into the ink. That would work as well. Okay, now I've got the full butterfly for the little ones. Oops. I'm going to stamp off again. Do that extra little one as well. Okay. Now, what I think I might do while I'm doing this, I might just decorate my envelope too. So I'm going to go back and put one of the black butterflies on. Um, I might put both on. So let's stamp that on just in the corner here. It's a while since I've done stamping on the front. Um, normally I, I've been putting paper on or you know, um, just little cutouts. But it's a while since I've done just stamping on my envelope. So I'm just doing the same as I did with the butterflies on the piece of paper here. And I'm just stamping off. I'm just going to do that again because there we go. I wasn't quite sure how dark that was going to be. Okay, and then let's get the little one. And do the same. There we go. And we're done with the green. Next, I'm going to go back to my black. And I'm going to add these little pieces, which are the bodies for the butterflies. Now, I'm not going to put them on the pieces that I'm punching out because I like to do that afterwards, but I'm going to put it on my envelope ones straight away. <coughs> Excuse me. Just going to pop it down the middle. There's one. <coughs> Excuse me. I had a tickly throat today. Okay. And then there are 
little antennae as well. Let's pop those on while we've got the black out. Take, pop this one off. Put this one on here. There we go. Now there are two sizes. I'm going to just pop the bigger one on the bigger butterfly. Take that off. And then I'm going to pop the little one on. I'm not going to use these on the ones that I punch out because the punch doesn't cut those ones out. Okay, let's pop that one away. Put that little body back on there. Okay. And our envelope is finished. So let's go back to punching. Now, this punch punches both butterflies out at the same time. And that's why the stamp sets themselves have got both butterflies on. You don't have to worry about lining it up or anything because they're already lined up. And then you just put them into the punch. Find where you think the best angle is and everything. And then just punch them out. I'm going to do the same with this one. Just line it up a little bit. Okay, and then that extra little one that we made, I'm just going to punch him out as well. And that's why I put him at the bottom of the paper, so that it wasn't going to punch a plain butterfly out too. Okay, and now, now that I know where the uh, little body part fits, now I'm going to just stamp those. So I should have two big ones and three small ones, yeah. So let's put these bodies on. I found that if I put them on first, sometimes I had them a little bit high, sometimes they were a little bit low, or just quite not quite in the right place where I wanted them. Do this little one as well. It is a very sweet little set, this. And uh, it's one of those that I come back to a lot. And sometimes I will have them as 3D little butterflies. Sometimes I will have them just stamped flat onto card. But uh, it is one of those sets that I love and uh, comes in for all sorts of uses. I did make a set of shabby chic tags before Christmas and I used these and the very Versailles set and uh, they went together so nicely. Okay, let's go back to our card. Oh, the last thing I need to stamp is one of these. And I have already stamped the thanks and I stamped the congrats. And the congrats was just a little bit bigger than I wanted. So I went with the thanks and rather than make you watch me stamp everything, here it is, stamped just on the plain Whisper White Thin card and I used my stitch rectangles to cut it out. I, I just got two sort of coordinating ones that fitted inside each other. And I cut this out with this. And then with my old olive card, I used the next size up just to give us that nice little border around there as well. Now, if you didn't have those, you could do what I also did. Um, and I stamped and I fussy cut out the thanks and then I stuck it onto my old olive card and then I fussy cut it again so that it looks like a border. And I really do like that, um, but I just want something to attach my butterfly on. And this gave me a little bit more space to put my butterfly on to. So I'm just gonna attach these two. I will show you what it's like though with the other thanks on so that you can work out if that's what you like. I think this would be nice with the nested dies as well. I think it would fit nicely. Okay, so this goes on the front here. You see, it takes up quite a lot of that space. If you wanted it to be smaller and you wanted to cut it out, see, this is how it would look. So I do like that, um, but because I want to attach my butterfly, there wasn't quite enough space. And I could have put my butterfly, let's see where did they all go? Oh, there they are. <laughs> I could have put my butterfly just on this corner here, but I actually liked it 
attached onto here. Okay, so that's the one I'm going with. So I'm going to put that to one side. And this I'm going to attach with dimensionals. So I just want it to pop off the page a little bit. There we go. Make sure they're all on. Take the backings off. And I'm just going to put it sort of in the middle, just like that. Okay, and then I've got my little butterflies. I want to take the bigger one and put it on this corner here, but I don't want it to protrude too far from the edge of the card, else it won't fit in the envelope. So I'm just going to make sure that the edge of that wing is sort of on the edge here as well so if you look I only need to put glue on the bottom part of these two wings I don't need very much just to let it adhere to that sentiment there Let's see I don't want it to stick onto the base here because otherwise it will be um, sort of higher up at the bottom than the top and it will sort of squash down a little bit that's just where I want him. Okay, and then with my little ones, I'm going to put them onto our smaller dimensionals. Oh, I haven't got very good nails at the moment. Because it's winter here in Cochrane, um, I'm sure it's winter in a lot of places, but it makes your skin very dry, the cold air that we have, and my nails get really brittle and just break off. So at the moment, they're very short. Okay, let's see. I think I'm just going to pop them like this. Now, if you wanted to add those little antennae, you could um, stamp straight onto the backing paper, or you could use um, something like one of our marker pens and just draw on there but I'm actually not really bothered on this card I'm not too worried about having them okay and then I've got those other little butterflies that I had left I'm going to put them sort of inside the card I think I'm just gonna I might just put one let's see I quite like it with two though so I'm not going to put dimensionals on the back though because I don't want this to be much thicker than it already is. And I'm not going to glue the wings down. There we go. Just pop this. I'm not putting it right at the top, I'm just going to put it a little way down there. Okay, I'm just going to get my journaling pen. Excuse me for one second. In fact, I didn't get my journaling pen. I got my stamp and write marker. I'm just going to use that little bullet tip just to put on those little antennae. And I noticed they had little circles on, so I'm just going to do the same. There we go. That just makes that stand out a little bit. And so there we are. That's my... Um, double easel card using green which was my remit for the month and I get my envelope too so thank you again for watching me everyone if it's the first time that you've seen my YouTube channel and you came from one of the other global demonstrators thank you for watching me too if you like my videos please consider giving me a thumbs up or subscribe I tend to add videos on Sundays and Wednesdays every week. But remember to check the links as well and look at everybody else who is taking part in the global video group. Thanks again, everybody, and I'll see you all again very, very soon. Bye-bye.